Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and we are back with more members of the 115th Congress. Today we are looking at Representative Jesus Chuy Garcia. He is the representative for the 4th District of Illinois, which is a mess of a district. <sighs> I wish these kind of districts didn't exist, but... Until we can tap down on gerrymandering. It's just to the southeast of Chicago proper. Now, he is a Democrat. And before he took office, he was preceded in office by Luis Gutierrez. And let's go ahead and take a look at who he is as an individual. He was born in Durango, Mexico on April the 12th, 1956. Graduated from St. Rita High School in Chicago, Illinois in 1974. Earned a Bachelor of Arts from the University of Illinois, Chicago, Illinois in 1999. Earned a Master's of Arts from the University of Illinois in Chicago, Illinois in 2002, was a member of the Cook County, Illinois Democratic Party from 1984 to 2000, member of the Chicago, Illinois City Council from 1986 to 1993, um, Member of the Illinois State Senate from 1993 to 1998. Member of the Cook County, Illinois Board of Commissioners from 2011 to 2019. Had an uns unsuccessful candidacy to for election as Chicago, Illinois' mayor in 2015 before finally being elected as a Democrat to the 116th and two following Congresses. So he is on his third term. Now, let's go ahead and look at the committees he is on. He is on the Committee on Infrastru Transportation and Infrastructure, of which he is on the Subcommittee for Aviation, the Subcommittee for Highways and Transit, and the Subcommittee for Railroads, Pipelines, and, and Hazardous Materials. He is on the Committee on Financial Services, of which he is on the Subcommittee of House Housing and Insurance, and the Subcommittee on Oversight and Investigations. He is on the Committee on Homeland Security, he is on the Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence. And he is on the Committee on Science, Space, and Technology, of which he is on the Subcommittee of Space and Aeronautics. Now, let's go ahead and look at his top five industry donors over his career. At the top, we have lawyers and law firms who all together have donated 257000 $156. Next is Transportation Unions, who altogether have donated $203,720. Next is Real Estate, who altogether have donated $128,232. Next is Industrial Unions, who altogether have donated $120,000. $20,100. And last is Building Trade Unions, who altogether have donated $118,500. Now, let's look at his top five industry donors and contributors. At the top over his career, number one, we have transport or the sheet metal air, rail, and transportation union. It is 
also known as the International Association of Sheet Metal Air Rail and Transportation Workers, or SMART, and it is a North American labor union headquartered in Washington, D.C., chartered by the AFL-CIO in 2013. Altogether, it has donated a total of $36,000, and once again, that's the Sheet Metal Air Rail and Transportation Union. Next, at number two, we have the United Food and Commercial Workers. The UFCW is a labor union representing approximately 1.3 million workers in the United States and Canada in industries including retail, meat packing, food processing and manufacturing, hospitality, agriculture, cannabis, chemical trade, security, textile, and healthcare. Altogether, it has donated a total of $36,000. And once again, that's the United Food and Commercial Workers Union. Next, at number three, we have the Amalgamated Transit Union. And it is a labor organization in the United States and Canada that represents employees in the public transit industry. Altogether, it has donated a total of $35,720. And once again, that's the Amalgamated Transit Union. Next, at number four, we have the Service Employees International Union. And it is a labor union representing almost 1.9 million workers in over 100 occupations in the United States and Canada. Altogether, it has donated a total of $35,250. And once again, that's the Service Employees International Union. Finally, at number five, we have the American Association for Justice, which is formerly uh, known as the Association of Trial Lawyers of America. And it is a nonprofit advocacy and lobbying organization for plaintiffs' lawyers in the United States. Altogether, it has donated a total of. $32,500, and once again, that's the American Association for Justice. But, this has been a look at Representative Jesus Chuy Garcia, and he represents the 4th District of Illinois. As always, educate thyself think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll be putting my links in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later.